Motions running high as one of the defendants in the ghost ship warehouse Inferno faced a judge. The number two man there, Max Harris, went to court asking to be released on bail while he awaits trial. KPIX 5 reporter Da Lin is live in Oakland with how the judge shot him down. Da? Les, a judge at this courthouse here has some concerns releasing Max Harris on his own recognizance, meaning releasing him without a bail amount. Instead, that judge reduced the amount by a quarter of a million dollars, but the defense attorneys say it's not good enough. No cameras allowed inside the courtroom, but plenty of emotions outside after a judge denied request to release ghost ship fire co-defendant Max Harris. His two friends did not speak, but were disappointed. His attorneys were upset. He's a beautiful person. He doesn't deserve to be incarcerated. So even one dollar bail is too much. And mark my words, we will get Max Harris out before trial. Max Harris will not rot in jail. Harris is facing 36 counts of involuntary manslaughter. Prosecutors say Harris is the second in command at the ghost ship warehouse and on the night of the fire blocked an escape staircase. The defense denies those claims, saying Harris actually guided people to safety. He's not happy about today. You know, he's not going to be able to move forward. Um, you know, we're going to try to raise the bail. The defense attorneys argue Harris is a great character, not violent and not a flight risk. But the judge says 36 deaths amount to a serious case. He also says Harris lacks ties to the community with no family, job or home here. The judge reduced the bail amount from about a million dollars to $750,000. So we plan on asking the community to, uh, to raise money to uh, post property, real estate. The defense is trying to distance Harris from the master tenant, Derek Almena. Almena is the other defendant in this case. Almena will be in court here again next Friday for the same thing, either a release or bail reduction. Live in Oakland, I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5.